Now is the time to where you can inform yourself on how to choose the best shielding gas for your newly purchased 110 220 multi process MIG welder. Just welding mild steel. We're going to weld 80 thousandths plate and quarter inch plate flat and out of position. And we are going to be using 100% CO2, 75 25% CO2. 90 10 10 percent co2 and 95 5 oxygen so five percent oxygen so we're going to be using those four different gas mixes on those different thicknesses of plate if you are planning on welding with 100 percent co2 or mixed gas or both just keep in mind that there are two different flow meters one flow meter is specifically designed for 100 percent co2 um, it is a cga 320 and that is for 100% CO2. Then there is a CGA 580, which is a standard, and that is for mixed gas. So you can see the difference between the two flow meters. Uh, there is also an adapter, so if you are going to standardize with one flow meter, you can get an adapter that will go from your standard CGA 580 to a 320, and it's just one adapter, so you can get that piece. We're gonna be running on 110 and 220 volt power. So when it comes time for you to purchase that 110, 220 multi-process MIG welder, or if you already have one, or if you're struggling with what gas mixes, at least now you know, because you're watching this video. Let's get rolling. On the first test, we're gonna be using 95.5 oxygen with 030 wire diameter with a 70S6 filler metal, all on 110 power. There's not an option for 95.5 oxygen, so I'm using a substitute with 030 wire diameter set up for steel for 80 thousandths plate thickness, 280 inches per minute and 17.9 volts. So I'm gonna get this thing tacked up. It is an 80 thousandths mild steel lap joint. This arc shot is playing horrible. Um, the next ones are better, um, but you can see here, um, very clean, minimal spatter, nothing at all. The next joint setup with 95.5 oxygen is on a quarter inch, mild steel plate, vertical up, out of position, fillet weld. You hear that sound? That sounds really nice, doesn't it? Very smooth, but I'm having some problems right now because with the 5% oxygen, it makes the puddle more fluid and it's very difficult out of position, especially if you're not running in a pulse mode. I'm using the same weld settings as that 80,000 slap joint at 280 inches a minute and 17.9 volts. You can tell from the arc shot the toes aren't wetting in the sidewall, so I'd probably turn my bolts up. In regards to technique, what I do is I go into the roof, down to the left, over. Into the roof, down to the left, over. No matter which gas mix I use, I do the same technique like a triangle. The only variation would be like your fillet size, you might run a tighter pattern. Um, if you take a look at this weld seam now, it is a pretty wide bead, but no spatter. All right, all right. Let's crank this bad boy all the way up to 395 inches a minute in 25.7 volts. Keep in mind, we're still on 110 volt power. We are running a horizontal quarter inch fillet weld. And look at this you can actually achieve a spray arc with 95.5 oxygen. You know why that is? Is because with the oxygen, you don't need as many volts in compared to CO2. Pretty smooth, I must say. This next test is with 90.10 CO2, still with an O3O wire diameter, 70S6 filler metal, all on 110 power. Let's adjust this machine back for 80 thousandths plate, because we are doing another lap joint, and we gotta turn the volts back down because we had them cranked up. Whoa, all right, let's go back to 17.9. We're gonna run this uh, 80 thousandths lap joint just like before, and you can see how smooth this is. You know, it's very stable with the 9010. I do like the short circuit side on 9010 gas mix. Very smooth. Check this weld out. I do have one piece of spatter. 
you'll start to tell that we are running everything in sequence. So we're using 90-10 CO2, out of position on a quarter inch mild steel vertical up fillet weld, and it is very smooth. Look how smooth this arc is. Like out of position, it's like butter. Look at the toes wetting in the sidewall. I'm running my little triangle pattern. It's sticking in there really well. And check this weld out. It's so smooth. Look at that. Very nice. Uniformed. Uh, toes wetted in really nice. I couldn't ask for any more. Maybe a smaller fillet size, but minimal spatter. Let's crank this puppy up. Max out the wire feed speed to 395 and the volts to 25.7, all on 110 volt power. Now I'm welding here and you can hear the spitting and sputtering. The reason for that is we're in what we call globular mode. It's like a mode in between short circuit and spray arc. It wants to spray, but on 110 volt power, we can't do it with the CO2. Um, that's what the cause of the spatter. And next up is 7525 CO2, all with 030 wire diameter with 70S6 filler metal, all on 110 power. Let's make sure we're set to 80 thousandths plate. We're at 280 inches a minute. I'm gonna bump the volts up about five volts to 18.8. The last uh, lap joints were about 17.9. Uh, the 7525 is really smooth, even in comparison to the 9010, like really sharp, clean. I say for short circuit, this one really stands out. The 7525, really smooth. I like it, very stable. All right, let's see what the weld looks like. Look at that, no spatter, no burn through. And next up is another quarter inch mild steel fillet weld, out of position, vertical up, but with 7525 CO2. It is very smooth. You can see I am getting a little bit more spatter. The reason for that is with the higher voltage, with the more CO2, it emits more spatter in the higher range. But I do run the same weave pattern as before. I do a triangle. And again, if you want to get your fillet weld size, just keep your pattern smaller. You will get more silicon in the weld seam, uh, but it's very smooth. Uh, the toes wet in really nice. Here you can see the silicon, but very little spatter. Let's max this machine out with the 7525 CO2 to 395 inches a minute and 25.7 volts. We are on 110 power, and you can hear this thing. It's spitting and sputtering like it has too much wire and not enough volts because yes that is the case and we are welding with 25% CO2 so it does make a difference but you check out this weld seam it's really not that bad at all looks pretty good and last but not least is 100% CO2 with 030 wire diameter with 70s6 filler metal all on 110 power we gotta bump this thing over to 100% CO2, still on 030 steel welding. Set this to 80 thousandths plate. Come over here to volts. We did have it maxed out, so we gotta bump it down, uh, maybe 9%. No, let's bump it down to zero, which gives us 20.8 volts. That's a big difference compared to where we were at last time at 17.9 volts. Not bad. Not bad, pretty smooth and stable, very aggressive because it is 100% CO2. But check out the weld, very little spatter to no spatter, pretty clean. We got a quarter inch mild steel fillet weld, vertical up, out of position of course. And here you can see the arc shot. We are getting a lot more spatter than 7525, really fluid. Uh, with the CO2, I can tell it's really punching in because the CO2, you do get more uh, penetration. Uh, check out the weld. More silicon. Not too bad. This is the last test on 110 power. Let's max this machine out to 365 inches a minute in 27.9 volts on the 100% CO2 setting. You can see the arc. It is very aggressive uh, just because we can't get enough volts on the 110 power. Um, still pretty smooth, you know, quite a bit more spatter compared to 7525 and check it out. Maybe we can chisel that off.